COVID and diabetes. As the world slowly begins to recover from the grip of this deadly pandemic, post-COVID symptoms in recovered patients are becoming a cause of concern, and diabetes has emerged as a prominent health concern in post-COVID patients. Older people and people with pre-existing medical conditions such as diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, and asthma appear to be more vulnerable to becoming severely ill with COVID-19 virus. When people with diabetes develop a viral infection, it can be harder to treat due to fluctuations in blood glucose levels and possibly the presence of diabetic complications. There appears to be two reasons for this. Firstly, the immune system is compromised, making it harder to fight the virus and likely leading to longer recovery period. Secondly, the virus may thrive in an environment of elevated blood glucose. International Diabetes Federation strongly recommends priority-based vaccination for people with diabetes and other health conditions and advises diabetics to get themselves vaccinated at the earliest opportunity offered to them. Diabetes has not yet been shown to increase the likelihood of infection, but progression to severe illness is more likely in diabetic people. Obesity is a major fact, risk factor for diabetes and appears to be an independent risk factor for severe illness in COVID-19. Complications of uh, diabetes include including renal, cardiac and peripheral vascular disease can be additive risk factors which need special attention. Certain studies show that diabetes does not uh, just make people more vulnerable to the coronavirus but that the virus might also trigger diabetes in some. Fatigue and muscle loss caused by severe infection can also push people to uh, at the risk of condition into a pre-diabetic state. In patients who are pre, uh, in the pre-diabetic state, COVID-19 uh, can cause stress hyperglycemia. So in some patients, uh, this could be a, combi a combination of stress hyperglycemia and medications such as steroids used in COVID that may push uh, them into diabetes. There is also a possibility of COVID-19 disease itself causing new onset diabetes in a patient. A study also says that ACE2 receptors in the pancreas can enable the virus to gain entry into the beta cells of pancreas, thereby causing damage to it structurally and functionally. There is still a lot of clarity required on the connection between uh, diabetes and uh, COVID. There are certain studies wherein the HbA1c levels of patients prior to COVID and post-COVID are monitored to see if there is onset of diabetes following COVID infection. Elevation of blood sugar levels following a febrile illness is usually common. It is basically a mechanism that the body employs to fight the infection uh, where there is an increase in inflammatory markers within the body as in a cytokine storm in COVID infection. It affects both the um, insulin release by the pancreas as well as uh, insulin sensitivity of the tissues. Hence, the mechanism of movement of glucose into the tissues by insulin is impaired. It may also affect the insulin production within the pancreatic beta cells. This will lead to high blood sugar levels. Uh, management of COVID patients with diabetic complications is extremely difficult because usage of steroids and certain other drugs, which are an important part in the COVID-19 management, can cause worsening of diabetic control. Intensive insulin regimens may be indicated in treating such patients. The link between uh, COVID-19 infection and diabetes uh, is gaining lots of significance after a few studies showed that COVID-19 virus can attack the pancreas, destroy the cells that produce insulin and thereby cause diabetes. During these studies, it was noticed that the uh, there are a lot of patients who were not diabetic earlier admitted for COVID uh, showed very high glucose levels in their blood. So some developed a new onset diabetes after recovering from COVID-19. As the pandemic unfolded, it became apparent that this virus could spread beyond the lungs and damage other critical organs, including uh, liver, heart, and kidneys. Surprisingly, some studies showed that the beta cells of pancreas are high permissive, 
to SARS-CoV-2 infection. Autopsy samples collected from patients who succumbed to COVID uh, showed SARS-CoV-2 in pancreatic beta cells of, the, of, of these patients. It was noticed that once in circulation, apart from lungs, this virus can enter other highly vascularized tissues like the pancreas, brain and the kidney. It showed that the infected beta cells died by a genetically uh, programmed auto-destruction initiated by injured cells. This is called apoptosis. Uh, another study showed that these infected beta cells underwent the process called transdifferentiation, which means they convert themselves into another type of cell which no longer produces insulin. It is possible that some infected uh, cells undergo transdifferentiation while others uh, self-destruct. Diabetes, hypertension and cardiovascular diseases have been identified as the most common comorbidities of SARS-CoV-2 infection and have been associated with the worse outcomes. Possible explanations for this severity among diabetic patients is increased susceptibility to infections, dysregulation of innate immune response, defects of cell-mediated immunity, low-grade inflammatory state with increased levels of mediators like uh, uh, TNF-alpha, C-reactive protein, interleukin-1, interleukin-6, leptin, etc. Moreover, diabetes is associated with incre increased uh, oxidative uh, stress, platelet aggregation and endothelial dysfunction. So maintaining a good glycemic control is very mandatory. Given the effective glucose lowering and anti-inflammatory effects, both insulin and GLP-1 receptor antagonists alone or in combination may represent a valid therapeutic option to treat asymptomatic and non-critically ill COVID-19 diabetic patients. Mm -hmm.